Well, I thought three had um, the most refinement in both the uh, the quality of the tannins because these are all red wines, and one of the key parameters for quality is the texture and the ripeness of tannins. One had this wonderful finesse and lightness, and it still had some sweet strawberry cherry fruit in the background, so um, it, it didn't have as much intensity as three, but I still thought it was very well made. With two, uh, I wasn't very happy with the, the quality of the tannins. I thought it was quite coarse. It just it didn't have that balance for me, so I put it last. I mean, I guess one and two are, are, are the two Chinese wines. Um, three for me has a, has a better balance. I'm not saying all wines from China do not have a good balance. It's just that I feel like um, there's more, more depth and, and complexity to this number three. Number two is a Chinese wine. And uh, number three as well. I think these two are Chinese wines. Uh, with number three, I, I looked at it was probably not properly stored, and maybe it was sitting in a warehouse somewhere there. Silver Heights is the very well balanced one. This is a very good surprise. <laughs>